Hey guys, today I wanna to talk to you about camera presence and how it can help you boost engagement and connect with your audience. I've got three really great tips for you, so stay tuned. I'm Gwendolyn, I'm the content creator's best friend. I'm here to simplify video creation for you and help you feel confident on camera so that you can start adding video to your marketing plan for your business or brand. And today, of course, we're talking about what you can do and say to boost engagement with your audience and uh, use your camera presence to really connect with them. So I've got three really great tips for you, so stay tuned for all three of them. Uh, but before we begin, don't forget to subscribe to my channel and click that bell if this is content that you really enjoy so that you can be the first to see what I've got coming out next for you. And of course, give this a like or share it with someone that you think might need to know all these tips. And um, I'd love to hear from you. So comment below and let me know if you are struggling to connect with your audience, if you're struggling to get comments and likes and shares. Um, I'd love to hear what some of those struggles are so that I can start pinpointing that with other videos. So jumping right in, let's start with number three. Number three, I like to suggest for people to start creating something that's uniquely yours. Um, and the best way to do this with your videos is to have a sign on or a sign off. I know someone who has um, quite a large following on Instagram that I, I enjoy following, and she starts every one of her videos with a little song, um, just good morning, good morning, or you know whatever it may be, um, and her audience is attracted to that. They expect it. If she doesn't do it, they remind her now. So she has something that she always starts her videos off with, and they, when they get to her story, if it's not the first one and they're just leading in from someone else's, they're like, hey, there she is, there's my friend. So find a way to start your videos or end your videos in a way that's uniquely yours. It's almost like hearing a jingle for um, a brand that you use, you know, that that's theirs. Even if you're not watching the commercial, you, you hear it and you know that that's theirs. Um, some television shows with their uh, opening music, whatever it may be, it doesn't have to be singing something like you know the Instagram influencer. It really could be anything that you're saying. However you wanna start, it could be, hey guys, I start a lot of my videos with, hey guys. It could be something as simple as, hey guys, or you can have a song, or you can have something else that's uniquely yours. So just find something that preps your audience for what you're about to tell them and reminds them of why they love you. I like to use, hey guys, and then go straight into what I'm about to say. And the reason I say that is because I want all of my viewers to know that they're my friends and I'm really just here to help. I wanna be inviting, I wanna be um, encouraging, and I think um, hearing that from a friend um, or hearing that from anyone makes you feel a little bit more like they're close to you. They're not just someone who has a whole lot of degrees on the wall and uh, they're unapproachable. So, hey guys, is a way um, that I use to kind of prep my audience to be able to hear what I have to say in a way that um, I think will really help them because they're already ready to hear it. They're already in a place where they're like, hey, that's my friend, she's talking straight to me. Number two, talk directly to your audience. This can be done by generalizing your audience, but it's also good to do if you can think specifically of one person. And this person could be real or it could be someone you made up and you know exactly what the demographic is that you wanna to talk to. Um, I have a client of mine that had a mostly male audience and we recently have been able to curve the audience to a female audience because she started using uh, female pronouns in all of her videos. So like, when you were a young girl, blah, blah, blah. And helping the viewer to really see themselves in her videos helped us curve her audience. So make sure you're talking directly to the audience you wanna talk to. This can help you in two different ways. It will help you build engagement uh, because they feel involved. They feel like they're a part of your video. They feel like you're directly speaking to them. 
uh, but it can also help because it's going to curve your audience to the audience you want to be attracted. You can kill two birds with one stone by just speaking directly to the person you want to be talking to. And again, that can be a general person or like I said, if you can think of someone who's very specific, a real or imagined person, then you're speaking directly to them in your camera you're gonna start really engaging with that audience because they're gonna feel like you're talking directly to your audience. It's funny, when you actually do something, it kind of comes across on camera. <laughs> All right, so number one, I tell people to smile. This doesn't work for every piece of content, but if you are delivering infotainment content, so that is information that is either reviews or how-tos or something like that for uh, wherever you're putting your content out, you're gonna to wanna to deliver it in a way that makes you feel inviting to your audience. They're not gonna to wanna to engage with you if you are teaching them and you're reminding them of the nun from Catholic school. Do you know what I'm saying? So try to be more inviting and engaging in a way that makes them feel like uh, they can communicate with you. They can actually ask you questions, which is always good. If they're asking you questions, they're engaging. Um, but they don't wanna ask questions to someone that they feel like might be a little out of their reach, right? I don't wanna bother someone who's like famous and you know, doesn't seem like they wanna interact with me, right? I don't wanna bother that person. Don't let them feel like you are not to be bothered. So try to deliver what you're saying with a smile on your face, like I'm doing right now. Uh, again, I've had a lot of practice. This is not easy to do. Oddly enough, it's really not easy to talk with a smile sometimes. And so just practice it, practice it. That's all you need to do so that they're receptive to what you're saying. They want to listen to you. They want to learn from you. Um, and not only that, they want to ask you questions. And again, if you are coming across as someone who is not open to questions because you are delivering your content like this, I would want to ask you a question if you were talking to me like this. In fact, I'd be scared of you. So don't do that. <laughs> I hope that these tips were helpful and let me know in the comments below if you're going to try any of these out. And of course, I want to support you and support your channels and influences. So let me know where I can find you guys. Let me know in the comments below. Don't forget to subscribe, like this, and share it with someone else who might need to boost their engagement in their videos. And we'll talk to you soon. Bye. Thank you.